Hi guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They're currently in sixth grade and eighth grade. And this is our fifth year homeschooling. And today we're going to be going over Algebra 1. This is with Master Books. And it's by Jacobs. And it's Elementary Algebra. So here's a closer look at Elementary Algebra by Harold Jacobs. And I bought these through Master Books. I use these after Principles of Mathematics. We had really good success with this, so I decided to go ahead and try what master books recommended for algebra one and here's the three books this is the main textbook these are the lessons and a lot of the practice problems this is the teacher's guide and there's a solutions manual there are also online videos that you can purchase through master books academy which i did not get this is the main textbook i got the soft cover it's kind of heavy for being a soft cover it's got a lot of pages. It has, oh, over 700. This is 730. And this is the table of contents. Here's the introduction, and then it goes on to the first lesson. So my son was going through one lesson a day. And for each lesson, it usually starts off with like some kind of comic that will tie the lesson into the real world. And then you've got usually like lots of diagrams and this is like the lecture or the lesson that you can read to him or your child can read themselves. And they're not super long and then it goes into exercises. Set one is usually review and then you've got set two included in the book. There's a lot of word problems in here. And then set three, you're going to find in the teacher's guide, which my son never got to the set three because it was just enough with the set one and two. See so here are some of the set three exercises. They're like worksheets. And the set four is the super difficult ones, which he never did either because he's not a math genius. He likes math and he's pretty good at it, but he's not like super good at it. And then this is lesson two. And the lessons themselves are not very long, which is good if your children don't like to read a whole lot for math. Exercise one, here's set two. Lots of word problems again. And then set four, there's just one question. Let's go a little bit farther in the book. This is Chapter six, equations. We've got the nice little comic. Here's the lesson. And then exercises. And step four. And let me show you a lesson from farther in. Chapter 14, here's the lesson, examples, this lesson's pretty long, and here's the set one exercise, set two, And we would go through the set one and set two every day. And here's the difficult one, set four. And in the very back of the main textbook is the answer key to the set two exercises. And the thing I don't really like too much about the answer keys in these are that it doesn't really break down everything step by step. So sometimes you don't know how the answer was found. Another book that comes with the whole package is the teacher guide. This is also soft covered. It is about over 300 pages. It includes a description, a daily schedule, worksheets, tests, chapter tests, midterm, final exam. 
and additional test version. So there's plenty of tests that come with this and the answer keys. Here is the schedule. Now these lessons would take my son about 45 minutes a day to get through. A few of them, he it was taking him an hour. He was just struggling with some of them and we would just cut them off after an hour. So it goes up to day 180. And there are built-in review days before testing here. And this is set three exercises, which we never got to. It was just too much work. And also included in this book is the tests, which you can rip out. But there's not a whole lot of room to write in here, so you still will need a spiral. And there's a spot for the test score. So it looks like most of them are just two pages or one page front to back. And you've got the answer keys for the test back here. This is the third book that comes with the package. It is the Solutions Manual. And this one is about over 200 pages, around 300. So all of these are pretty hefty books. And here's the answers. You can see a lot of the answers are not broken down. Let me show you guys. But they are clearly marked, like chapter one, lesson three, so they're easy to find. Let me show you farther in the book. See, none of these answers are broken down. And I do have an app called Photomath that breaks things down but some of the graphic you can't do in the PhotoMath app. Comparing the two programs, we use Principles of Mathematics and I had a lot of success and my son just understood pre-algebra really, really well. I felt like this took little baby steps and it was much better, it was more organized. The lessons were just easier to follow along. Um, the videos were awesome, but they weren't really needed. Everything was in this book that you needed. I feel like the lessons are a little bit less organized, they take bigger leaps. There's a lot of story problems in here that are just really confusing for me and my son. Uh, and one other thing, one of the major differences was this answer key, which I don't have anymore. I don't know what I did with the answer key for this, but it broke down step by step how the answers were found. And this one, unfortunately, just gives you the answer and doesn't break it down. Some pros for Jacob's Algebra would be the good price, the organized schedule. It's a very solid program, so if your child can get through this, they'll be very, very proficient at algebra. Um, there's lots of practice problems. Uh, my son really liked the comics, and the online videos are available. So the cons on this, there are too many books included, and they're just kind of heavy. Uh, we don't have a dedicated homeschool space. We just homeschool on our kitchen table. And for me, it was getting too much to carry the books. Um, off the table and store them every day and my son just kind of dreaded when I would pull those big heavy books out um, I feel like the lessons jump around too much like they're not very organized they don't take baby steps like there would be one concept that was taught in chapter two and then you would go to another concept in chapter three and you wouldn't revisit that chapter two concept again until like chapter five or six or something um, I felt like some of the teaching was old-fashioned I found some of it difficult for me to teach. Uh, I've got some examples here. Like, I am not bad at math. Like, when I did my ACTs in high school, I almost scored perfect. But there's just some things that I was having difficulty teaching. Like, these, you have, like, these little figures all over the book. And lots of questions that have to do with them. And it, I've just never encountered that before. And I was just really unsure how to teach with that. And see, here's another section where you have them. 
So for me, I found it difficult. Somebody else might be really, really good at teaching this method. And the last con, I feel like there's too many word problems and some of the word problems don't really have a lot to do with the actual lesson that you just learned. So that's basically an overview. We are not doing this anymore. We did it for two months and my son was struggling through it. I was struggling to teach it. And I think the videos would have helped a lot, but uh, just the way it's laid out, I'm glad I didn't purchase the videos and spend money on that. I do recommend it. If your child's really good at algebra, they will get a really good, strong foundation from this program. So that's about it. I hope this is helpful. Bye guys.